This is my Keychron K8 Pro with its stock keycaps. And this is my K8 Pro with the keycaps that I'm about to show you in this video. These are the pudding keycaps from HyperX, which go for about $25 on Amazon. They come with three vacuum seal packets of keycaps, which are specifically designed for mechanical keyboards in either full size or 10 keyless layouts. They also come with a small keycap puller alongside a layout guide to make sure you install them correctly. Installation is super easy. All you have to do is use the keycap puller and push down on a keycap until both sides of the puller click then pull upward to remove the keycap. Once you remove the keycap, just press the new one down in its place. Just make sure the legends are sitting on top. Now you're probably wondering why I got these keycaps in the first place. And while I love the look of the original keycaps that came with my keyboard, they have a couple of small issues. Not only do the letters not let any light through, which makes them a little hard to see in the dark, but the RGB patterns that the keyboard supports are pretty hard to see, which can make it harder to enjoy them. And these are supposed to fix that in a couple of ways. First off, the legends are shine through, meaning they let some amount of light through so you can see them. And second, there's a layer of translucent plastic underneath the black plastic that lets more of the RGB through the bottom so you can see the patterns better. Now that the caps are on the keyboard and I've had some time to use them, it's time for me to share my thoughts. First off, I absolutely love the look of them. I thought I was going to miss the colors of the stock keycaps, but honestly, I really love the all black design. Even when it's turned off, it just looks really nice with the dual tone look. The plastic also does a nice job of diffusing the RGB. The difference it makes compared to the stock keycaps is absolutely amazing. It really does a nice job of letting those patterns stand out. And even though they do change the way the keyboard sounds when I type, I personally think it's for the better. They sound a bit quieter than the stock keycaps, and they also seem to be a little less hollow sounding, especially in the larger keys like the spacebar and enter key. Now as much as I love these new keycaps, there are some things to keep in mind if you're planning to get them for yourself. First off, these are designed specifically for larger keyboards, and in particular, anything that resembles a full-size keyboard. I personally haven't tried this on a smaller keyboard, like a 75%, but other people have mentioned that these keycaps are not made for those kinds of keyboards. That being said, I have a 10 keyless, which is basically a full-size keyboard without a numpad, and everything seems to fit perfectly. These also don't have any legends for the function keys, and the top two keycaps in the corner don't quite match up with their original functions that the keyboard has by default, but as long as you memorize them, you should be good. Also keep in mind that the legends on the bottom are specifically designed for Windows. They'll still work with Mac, which is what I personally use, but if you're used to relying on the Mac legends, then you would probably need to train your muscle memory to recognize this a little bit better. And while these are technically shine through, the legends aren't quite as bright as they appear in the marketing images. I'm personally fine with it myself, but it was a little something to keep in mind in case that's what you're wondering. But in my opinion, the pros far outweigh the cons. I just think they look and sound so much better than they did before, and I'm just really happy with the result. If you're interested in picking them up for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. And if you want to see me review this keyboard, be sure to check out this video next, and I'll see you over there. Adios.